be by the man. Unity. <laughs> First tonight. News tonight that Swedish car designers are setting up they shop. They are frightened. Really off the wall. Hello, <laughs> and, <laughs> Hello and welcome to Unity Update Zone 27. We have a lot mm. of news for you all. But first, we have not forgotten about the t-shirts. And as you might remember, this t-shirt was to be given to the person with the best motivation of why Unity should win the E-Prize. So let's see how that went. For those who don't know, the E-Prize Sverige is leading an official prize. With a unique and unique thinking of the first model, Vimarana Unity. Sweden's most sustainable transport. Thank you everyone who supported us along the way. Nice work you guys. So now we won the first prize and now they're having the second prize ceremony which is the People's Prize and that's what all of you have voted for. I think we're gonna make it, we have the best fans. Fingers crossed and we'll hope so and Bist is here as well. And support you guys. What happened, Robin? We just won the second award, the People's Award. Thank you guys for voting. We got 62% of the votes. Super awesome. Woohoo! And this is, of course, entirely thanks to all of you who voted and shared our ambition. And that's why we have decided to give out not just one, but five t shirts. So we'll show the lucky winners here in the comments around our faces. Please do send us a message on YouTube with your address so we can send you the t-shirts. And once again, congratulations. Also, if you feel comfortable, take a photo of you with the t-shirt and hashtag Team Unity or send it to us. That would be lovely. Now on to the big news. We're here in Silverstone and we've just had a present. And on this present, we did a really exciting announcement. We are crowdfunding. And we'll let Lewis explain a little bit more what that means. Greetings from Silverstone in the UK. By now, you already know that our vehicle is being engineered here, and soon you'll find out a whole lot more about our production plans and our other plans to be more established in the UK, of course, as well as Sweden. But similarly to how we've done in Sweden, now we're established in the UK, we will make a portion of the company available for ownership through an equity crowdfunding campaign that we're now going to run on the Crowdcube platform. Ultimately, in a company like this or any company, you're accountable to your investors and we want to make sure that those are represented by the people. Thank you very much for listening. Check it out. It's on unity.earth slash crowdcube. So hope you're excited about our crowdfunding campaign. And if you want to become an owner in Unity, check out the link in the description below. And now we thought we'd show you a little bit from the press event. What's your thought for the day? Uh, it's so good. It's a lot of people. It's almost full in here. I think your video was really wacky, really off the wall, and hit the point perfectly. <laughs> I like the approach, I like the different innovations, and the future is here, so you guys are pushing forward. Here in the UK, what's the trend now? Cutting down on emissions, really, because it's just toxic at the moment in London. <laughs> we'll start again. So we forgot to record. Yes, uh, my name is Robert Llewellyn. I present a, a YouTube show called Fully Charged about electric vehicles, future of energy and transport. From an outside perspective, how has the journey been? Well, I mean, I see it as yet another challenge to the established automotive industry, which is, I mean, I, and I know a lot of people who work in that, and they are frightened and they're frightened for very good reasons. So many younger people will see this and go, oh, I want, I want to drive that one. And what is it that excites you about Unity? The thing that I think is the, as big a change as electric vehicles is the ownership model. Particularly if you live in a city, you'd need less cars. What trends do you see locally regarding EVs? I mean, a very noticeable increase in uptake and a very big change in public attitudes. It's getting so much better than it was. And there, we now have literally thousands of rapid chargers in the UK. Being a Swedish brand and Swedish design, how is that important for us? The notion of Swedish design of, uh, is very popular here. So it's, it's a, a really good selling point, and I think that's certainly something you should push. As well as watching the Unity YouTube channel, you could have a look at Fully Charged. So the UK is a really interesting place in terms of we have a very strong strategy to get onto a road to zero. The strategy is really trying to tease together the complex picture that needs to happen to get electric vehicles to be mainstreamed. It is very much around how we work together, how can we tease together very high-performing 
uh, companies uh, alongside Unity to really get the best results. What was your catchphrase before you do that? What was the catchphrase? I love the catchphrase of getting the world to the place it needs to be. What sparked your interest around Unity? It's innovative, it's uh, original, it's got a good focus and it's not just a principle, it's a practical application. It's a bunch of people with sound experience in engineering, technical, connectivity, vehicle construction. So it's not, you know, wild ambition. It's, it's, it's got a good firm focus on reality. It's good to have that Scandinavian sense of things because, you know, you look back in history and a lot of the uh, developments that have come with, with, with vehicles in terms of things like ABS and safety belts and whatever, they've all come from Scandinavia because, you know, people care about individuals, the environment. I think leveraging things in the UK is, is definitely about being in the right place. And you are, Silverstone. I believe fortune favours the brave. And I think the combination of all the clever people in the right place at exactly the right time is why I think Unity is going to be a very big and important part of where we go to now. So now a lot of the, like the news press is gone and they, they've already publishing. So it's afternoon news, lunch news, a lot of people from BBC here, radio, TV. So it's going very great. My name is John Griff and I'm a presenter for BBC Radio. I have a particular interest in small cars and I'm fascinated in the new technology. I'm fascinated by electric and I'm fascinated by the culture change that's going to happen. And is this something you see already? today? Yes, I think I can. And when you look at the, the seating arrangements and you look at the styling of the Unity One and the fact that it's a properly enclosed car, I think it's a credible looking car. I think it's got presence. If it's new technology that will get people off the road with petrol and diesel powered cars and into electric, that's only got to be good news for the planet. What benefits are there to this region? First one obviously is the synergy between sport and technology and pushing things to the absolute limit and being able to therefore engineer that into something something that the general public can drive. I think also it's great for Silverstone that there's new technology that is going to be based right on the site and if you're going to be producing cars here that can only be good for employment, it can only be good for the local economy. When can I drive one? Such a good time here at the Silverstone event and I think we should look for dancing. I'm responsible for the team that will be developing and engineering the powertrain for the Unity project. So we're tackling powertrain from battery first and integrating with other elements that are essentially off the shelf, but will need some tweaking to get into the vehicle. It's a 26 kilowatt hour battery, which will be enough to take it uh, on a WLTP cycle uh, beyond 300 kilometers. When you consider winter driving, some realistic s situations, we'll be at about 240 kilometers plus. We work with a trading partner in Japan, uh, and we're working with them to make sure that the cells that we are able to get are of a good quality, but also are uh, good production for uh, systems and uh, you know you don't have any sort of human factors that are being affected there. The people are the most important part and Unity, your guys, um, Sally, uh, the team that's being established here, the combined vision of the people makes the product and that motivation uh, is, is very strong in me. It's an amazing ride and for everyone supporting Unity, please keep it up. So as you heard from the press event, there is a lot of engineering going on here in Silverstone. So we thought we'd let Sally show a bit of her team and what they're doing here. It's great to be able to have a chat with you again and give you a bit of an update of where we're at. So, we're really proud to introduce you one of our initial partners, KWSP. So we're responsible for uh, assisting with the engineering package, and in particular the advanced manufacturing and the lightweighting. My favourite part by far is the fact that we're going into an era of digital manufacturing and digital engineering, where we're able to go from simulation through CAD right the way through to manufacturing purely in a, in a digital environment. We're looking at how we can use lightweighting to deliver a vehicle architecture that's, that's bespoke for, for electric vehicle. And one of the ways that we're going to be doing that is with a new platform that KW has been developing developing called TopCat, which is this material here. TopCat is a low-cost thermoplastic recyclable chassis platform. The nice thing about this chassis platform is that there are some great technology transfers that we can take across to the Unity project. It gives us plenty of scope for storage of batteries, integration of the powertrain, and the ability to add on virtually any style of bodywork that you like on top. We're trying to make digital models. One of the things that we've been doing quite a lot of is scanning. So we're validating the data we've already got against some of the parts that have been created. So we're looking at what's already existing and now how do we have to adjust that geometry? It's all about data at this phase. 
looking, reviewing, analysing, reflecting and validating. I'm currently working on uh, chassis upper body structures uh, and with some colleagues now combining the two to make a, a safe lightweight vehicle structure. So working with Unity at the moment we're able to explore completely new boundaries. In Unity we're responsible for the integration of the powertrain system with a specific focus on the battery and making sure that the battery that is developed, which is unique for Unity, is compatible with the motor systems, inverters, chargers. I'm working with uh, Stuart on the Topcat feasibility study. Specifically working on at the moment is uh, the main traction battery, but also a little bit on power supply to the rest of the vehicle. With regards to the Unity vehicle, we're going to look at manufacturing it, and we know what uh, engineering problems there are to solve. So the real challenge is how do we transfer that into, into production, and how do we use the entire suite of software that Siemens PLM offer? Siemens, we are uh, supporting to be able to do this with a, a much smaller than normal team in a much more efficient and nimble way to bring the vehicle to market. Most of the OEMs today um, carry a large amount of legacy. That's what I think is so excited about Unity, uh, where we can actually work from the start clean sheet of paper in a green field and be able to launch those processes and, and be able to drive those development times down to a, to a minimum. Siemens started with the Unity uh, for approximately three years ago. Siemens is very, 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 very de dedicated to support Unity. So I've uh, been around with the Unity for a while, a couple of years. Yeah. But you are uh, new in the team uh, around yeah. Unity. Yeah, correct. Uh, and uh, you have had uh, Silverstone here. Yeah, it's been a two-day uh, workshop actually with the Silverstone team, and uh, we've been digging in on the uh, the current plans that Sally and her team um, have uh, developed, and even looking into uh, planning for the manufacturing phase. I think a very uh, fruitful two days. It's been a lot of fun. But for now, we hope you enjoy the update, and we look forward to sharing more of our engineering with you soon. So we just arrived in London and we're heading over to see some government officials and see how they can help us up out here setting up in Silverstone and around England. And I'm the Chief Advisor on the Automotive Sector Team in the Department for International Trade. Our job is to help inward investment. And if a company is thinking of inward investing into the UK, we can help them to connect with the relevant bodies. We can help them to look at uh, mainstream support that the government and agencies are able to give. Unity bring a whole new dimension. If you look at um, how they're structured, how they're bringing a positive uh, production to the UK, and the way they are producing is different to the mainstream production. It's of course the home of the British Grand Prix, and now a base for manufacturing electric cars. So obviously That's here right. in the Silverstone Technology Cluster, there is a what huge amount of thing that Unity moving here will benefit, is basically to utilize a lot of those skills, production, materials, to help us with our mission. That mission is for all cars to be electric. The company already has orders equating to £75 million. Pounds. There's a great auto industry in Germany, Italy and many parts of the world, but the very specific kind of you know, composite-based manufacturing that this car is developed on, uh, there's just nobody in the world better than right here. News tonight that Swedish car designers are setting up shop here. Silverstone has been chosen as the pilot plant to produce the Unity One. Thank you very much for watching another Unity Update episode. There will be a lot of interesting stuff going on in the coming few weeks, so stay tuned for next one. And to see those episodes and get notifications of what's happening, please do subscribe to the channel. It means super much. And leave your comments below. Let us know what you think. And don't forget, have an awesome day. See you next time.